Hey guys, and today I am once again back with Title Tuesday. How is it going, everybody? Hopefully you're doing well. Let's have fun and let's start with Title Tuesday. Okay. Okay. So, 474 players. I don't remember how many it was last time. <laughs> but still three and a half minutes till, till the tournament starts. So maybe some people may join. We'll see. How are you doing, everybody? Hopefully you're doing well. Four nine three. Yeah, maybe we will get six fifty seven hundred. Panda sub another for fifty seven months in tier three. Thank you so much for fifty seven months. It's three months before five years. Thank you for the support. Okay, 520. We may even get 700 because usually like the last couple of minutes are the most productive for the play count. Oh, the camera? Camera is good. The yeah, camera is good. 540, yeah, we will definitely, I'm in Kharkiv right now, we will definitely get 650, maybe even 700. Five sixty, and still 1 minute 40 seconds left. So Chad, I think this tournament we will get 700 players at the start of it but maybe not maybe people will stop joining and we'll be stuck at 640 but unlikely dun 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 Karmar, 75 months at tier 3, thank you so much and we have a hype train 75 months is 6 years and 3 months, I appreciate it how you doing Karmar? <laughs> When was I in Germany to play OTBs? <laughs> when was the last time I played OTBs, huh? <laughs> okay, 600. No, I think maybe we'll get 650 max now. I told I told you we could slow down in the player count. You hey, joined D. Six twenty. Oh, Magnus join. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll get six fifty seven. Chad, this is my prediction. Six fifty seven. Six forty seven. I'm not sure about four or five, but I'm sure that it will be seven. Six three five. Come on, come on. Twenty more. Or at least 10 more. Okay, 6.41. Okay, that's not too much. That is not too much. Black pieces in the first round shot, okay. But last time I started with the white pieces. In total I got 5 pieces white, 6 is black, so... First round doesn't matter. Logan, 26 months at tier 1, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Two years and two months, thank you. How are you? I mean, it's not the smartest to ask how are you when the emote only is on, but hopefully you're doing fine. The camera, camera is good. Yeah, 
the F3 with E4 idea. If E4, I want to play Queen B4. So yeah, that's why he goes Queen F2, and now maybe C5. A6, if knight 7, simply rook f8, I guess, and I'm fine. Because how, how will he get the knight out? Sounds like e4. Okay, so he provoked a6. Not sure why, but okay. Level 4 hype train! Oh my gosh. That sounds like a new emo to me, huh? It seems like it's gonna be a new emo. Hi, Pookie. Gifted subs to the community. Oh my goodness, it's like level 5 hive chain. Thank you, h 5 2 Vel, Nero, Pookie, and Chess Dexter got them. Thank you, Lorgan. And hi to Blerchik. How are you doing, guys? And Karmar, his last three bits. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So it says it soon will be the record. I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you, thank you. Knight c4, I'm going to in e4. Okay, what if I just play this with idea so doubling up? Appreciate it, Logan and Karma. Rook d3, I'll go rook d, rook d, e8. If e4, I think, I mean, I can either play d4, or take, 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 and I have this. Take, 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 yes, bishop f3. Take, 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 take. And Pookie to all bits. Thank you so, so much, guys. Appreciate it. Um, I mean, default also looks good, but I'm not even threatening. You know, I'm a pawn grabber, but I'll play d4. <laughs> I don't know. Quidditch just seems a bit too fishy. I don't know. A bit too suspicious. I'm winning a pawn, he gets, he has a bishop, he'll get to active play, eh, eh, thank you for the follow as well. Knight c4, d3 is going to be a great outpost, but I'm blundering knight b3, oops, thank you for this follow as well. Yeah, unfortunate to blunder a pawn, uh, very unfortunate to blunder a pawn, but okay. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe it. It's just a puncher. Do not, do not worry. Okay, putting pressure on the pawn. Actually, the C for pawn is good here. <laughs> this isn't good. Force draw, but I want to win. At least try to. The clock, though. Hmm. Do you have an idea? Just a pawn. Nothing too bad. I totally do know. But I gotta hurry up, that's for sure.
I'm honestly not sure if I should have played through D3 or not. Seven. Hold on. Hold on. I should have played h5, I don't know if I played g5, but okay. Free knight, thank you very much. Free rook, thank you. <laughs> ah, GG's. Not the best game. But, level 4 hype train, thank you so, so much, guys. And I got a new emote, let's go. What is that? No, they did not. And Pookie on screen celebration, wait, let me see. Where is your on screen celebration? Where is your on screen celebration? I didn't see it. <laughs> Too late, no. But there was an on screen celebration, I hope. Because last time you said you didn't see it after in the in the stream. Yeah, Harry is getting pretty shaggy. I might need to get a new haircut chat. Pretty soon. I saw CB somehow. Oh, that is very good. Wait, do I actually have a reward for duck chess? I actually forgot. These are 5 plus 0. No, no, there is no duck chess. <laughs> there is no 5 plus 0 blind duck chess. Whew. Fortunately for me, there is normal 5 plus 0. But yeah, okay, it wasn't the cleanest game, but I win is I win, so what can, what can I do? So it's this hype train we got 8 gifted subs and 203 bits. Level 5, 13% of level 5. So we completed all four levels. I appreciate the support, guys. Thank you. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I think Eric isn't winning this. Unless some huge blunder, like what happened in my game. But I played. The, I, I feel like I handled the game pretty well in the time trouble, in like four seconds versus forty. And not only I managed to equalize it, I managed to uh, make him blunder a knight and then the rook. I think pretty fine, even though I didn't play very fine. Down. Oh, but now actually Eric is playing for a draw. Huh. <laughs> now he has to be careful. But yeah, Kini 5. Mm, he's giving us his opponent chances. True. Okay, Logan noted. If I can, I will. If I'll have the opportunity, I will do a queen sack. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. 
Okay, draw. Hey, Eric doesn't want to draw this. <laughs> okay. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. He's trying to flag or what? <laughs> I don't know. Like, how is he playing for a win? That's a question. Maybe he's frustrated. Maybe he was winning somewhere. And you're just a pawn up. Not really winning or anything. Just a dead draw. Is he, or is he going for the longest game in the title Tuesday history? Also possible. Oh gosh, a draw. Let's go. Okay, this should have been the final game, so I'll go in or No, it wasn't. No, it was, thank you. <laughs> At least it was the final game of the round. Camera is good. I have two bars on your connection. Okay. It's fine. Totally journal with the dance moves. Let's go. <laughs> we missed you, Totally Juvenile. We missed you. And Pookie with a giant emote. Looks pretty funny, especially gigantified. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. It's pretty funny, not gigantified. <laughs> But to get if I just like extra funny, you know. <laughs> this I'm not sure should I go bishop c2 or bishop g2? Bishop g2 will keep my bishop safe. I uh, will keep my king side safe, so I guess I'll go here. Yeah, bishop d5 is annoying. But that like bishop c2 would change anything with it. Maybe it would, I don't know actually. Uh I should have played b3, a3, b4. <laughs> Oof. The knight is very annoying on c5. Rook f3. Yeah. Queen c8, maybe I was thinking bishop h3, just to see where his queen goes. Because maybe I can even make him take f3 and not take my own on f8. Maybe I should take an f4. Ah, I should have played bishop g2, I should have taken and played a 4 because now he gets e4 and then he couldn't play e4 because I could take. That's a little unfortunate. But okay, I think I may take an bishop g2 and an f4 ideas. But yeah, I missed, missed f4, nice idea. Opening up my rook. The bishop ain't doing much on, on uh, h3 anyways, so, yeah, bishop g2. I, I don't know, I'll just play queen g4, seeing what he does. <laughs> okay, I can take, should I take, I don't know if I should take, probably I shouldn't take, because then he gets this ridiculous square for his knight on c5, so I guess I'll simply retreat queen e2. Uh -huh, he wants to get to d4 with his knight. Okay, fair enough. Uh, 
I want to do this, at least trade the rooks and get rid of the d4 outpost, if possible. Okay, queen e4. And if queen e4, if queen h2, I suppose. Okay, f e, blah blah blah. Queen e1, king f2. Queen e2, king g1. But he gets knight e2. So let's go king h2 because fe knight e2, king h2, queen g3 looks terrifying. King h1, knight g3 looks terrible as well. Not terrifying, but just terrible. <laughs> but he gets rook g6 here. I gotta go queen g3, knight f5, knight f5, knight f5, maybe bishop e4, maybe bishop h3, perhaps bishop h3, queen g3, queen g3, knight g3, rook f3. Okay, he simply takes. He takes. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this end game. If I get like my bishop to e4 and somehow king to f3 or e3. Then he just gets his knight to c5. Yeah, here I was thinking bishop e4 and then bishop c2 with knight f4. Or maybe take g6 h5. He gets an outside passer. I'm sure if that's good. Oh, wait, I have king g3, knight h5, king g4, king g7. Bye bye to my bishop there. Mm hmm. But bishop c2, can he, can he actually promote this pawn? Not sure. Maybe I should simply go bishop c2 and just take the pawn. King f7, bishop e4, king f6, bishop d7, king e5. Mm, difficult decisions. Bishop h7, should I get this pawn structure? I don't see might. I'm not sure if this is better for me or not. Ah, he just wants to trade. Okay, I gotta do this. And I'm just not sure if this is equal or am I losing. I think I might be holding. Somehow. Yeah. Okay, I held. Definitely not the result you want to get as white playing for a draw. But yeah, I gave him a beast knight on c5. I should have played b3, a3. I messed up with the stuff with a3 I should play like b3 say so yeah b6 a3 say so like rook f8 rook f1 and then b4 and he'll never get the great knight uh because in yeah, the game a4 I was better I had f4 yeah I had f4 immediately I, I didn't see this as an idea completely f4 and then yeah if take take I take rook 8 I'm even winning or something and otherwise if take c uh, this, rook f3, this, 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 it was equal, I should have traded the queens, I didn't. Yeah, and it was winning endgame for him. And king f4 was a blunder. Oh, okay, he had b5. Ah, yeah, fair enough. But honestly, if you'd go king f5, I'd go king here, 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 and he would get b5. So that's lucky for me that he repeated. I had to go king c3 and go for these pawns. And then just and draw like this, b5 and then draw. Yep, lucky. Lucky game. 92, I don't know where where 92. But was, was, was bishop c2 immediately better or no? Maybe she too was better, so Christmas. But then he gets knight g6. If this, he, ah, and then he gets c4. So yeah, I'm not sure what was better. Because in the game, I got to draw miraculously. Miraculously, if, luckily for me, he didn't find how to win. Uh, but here, knight g6, and then knight e5, winning the pawn. So that would have been even less, less fortunate. But okay, a draw is a draw. And I got lucky with this draw, so I'm quite happy.
isn't no ninety four loses doesn't it? Or maybe it draws. I don't know. Hmm. You need to draw. Okay. Okay. This is a win for black. Sort of brilliant. He takes. 92, 92F, rook F3, no, rook F3, EF, maybe, maybe, and I have to just look, scary, rook F3, E takes F, and what do I do, <laughs> that's a good question, oh no, wait, rook F3, EF, the, the knight is hanging, the knight is hanging, rook F3, I play like queen F8, rook F8, queen E2, bye bye to his knight, <laughs> So it wasn't winning. That's why it takes F for the brilliancy. Rook H one, Rook G one, Rook H one. This should be a draw, but black are playing for the win. Okay, now this is a draw. I oh, know this is actually the boss. Oh, okay, so yes. Ah, rook a1, that's a nice win here. Yeah. But how did white hold? How did white hold? Hey. Rook b3. Yeah, you get the rook there and then continue checking the king, I suppose. Okay. But it's tricky for sure. Okay, emote only. Okay, the last time you played e4. But okay, d4. This is another great move for white, so let's try. Let's see what he plays after d4. No future Slava, he did not. Here at knight f four. Yeah, I was thinking about this line. It was actually never played. I never played against this line ever. Knight h three. Thank you for the follow. But knight h three. <laughs> I mean, it looks goofy. Thank you for yet another follow. It looks like super goofy. But I also have knight g2. <laughs> the question is what's goofy and what's better? Huh? Knight g2, king g2, g6, take, take. He cannot take a rook g8. So he has with like knight e5, I go bishop f5. Okay, I think knight g2 looks a bit more interesting. I don't know. I, th this was, I never played against this, so I'm really not sure what's better. But at least what I feel like that this is better. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, take take ninety five. Bishop of five. He has queen of five. That's a little unfortunate. So we cannot go for that. I mean, I can go rook g eight, knight g six, king h seven. That's that. I can play queen g seven, bishop of five. Uh, yeah. Queen g seven to queen g six. Not too good. Or you can play like queen g5, bishop of 5 another option. Dun, dun, dun. So rook g8 looks like the best option, honestly. Rook g8, knight g6, king h7. I'm not blundering anything, I hope. Queen g6, I just go like queen e6, I suppose. The idea is bishop of 5 knight 7 Welcome to the chat, Chablil. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name incorrectly. But welcome to this channel, hope you'll have fun.
it's a goofy position. <laughs> like, but definitely I feel like this is better than knight h3. I'm not sure if it bet if it's better than g6 in before knight g2. Oi oi. Oi 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 queen g oi oi oi. Oi 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 oi. oi. What a tactic. Mamma mia. It all works, I guess. Well, not, I don't know. Wow. Nice tactic, what can I say? Well done. Very well done. G6, King H7. <laughs> I mean, it's scary. Knight of 4, I want to go Bishop of 5. I'm not sure if this. I mean, it doesn't look good, certainly, but maybe it is. Okay, Bishop of 5, Queen of 5, I'm fine. Knight G6, I take, I should be fine. <laughs> I mean, it's terrifying for sure, but mm, maybe I'm fine. I don't know. I mean, if queen b3, I want to go like g5. <laughs> okay, g5. Uh, knight moves bishop h3. I mean, I guess I should play this. To at least try something. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I don't know what's going on. It looks certainly like a ginormous mess. And I hope that it'll be better. Uh, I'll, I'll navigate through this mess better than my opponent. I'm not sure if I will. Hopefully, though. Goes here. I think this is this is this is winning. Because I didn't see how steps made. D five rook G seven. <laughs> It's crazy. Knight g3, I then I'll take the exchange. Bishop h3, 95, bishop f1. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, goes king h1. He doesn't want to give an exchange because he's in a kind guy. This but the knight g3. Bishop g4. Maybe I should have done bishop g4. Yeah, I think rook d8 was a waste of time. I should play bishop g4 immediately. Doesn't have queen g7. Bishop f3, queen h3. This looks like a mate in it. Yes, I somehow won this. Don't know what was going on. I have zero idea what happened. Let's watch the analysis. <laughs> okay, it was crazy. Bishop h7 can't be right, can it? No, it was right. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Knight g2, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rook j8, blunder, queen g. Yeah, I saw queen g5. I was just a bit like, okay, queen over all the way on g5? He can attack it, but I guess it's the best. If queen b3, what do I go? Knight d7. Okay, so for the, then he found a brilliant. Yeah, knight d5 was brilliant indeed. Thank you, Mr. for giving T1 up to front. Lever best skill. No, no, here, 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 Bishop G4 was better, no? Ah, he had F3, so I'm not sure if he was better, actually. Uh, Bishop G4 was a mistake. I should have played Bishop H3, E6. He was plus 1.5, but he blundered mate in 2. <laughs> Review, what was the accuracy again? 85. But a brilliant move, so okay. Yeah, crazy game, crazy game. Okay, this is winning for... Oh, now it isn't winning anymore.
perpetual isn't yeah just check 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 rook h2 king g4 nice hold from white they were completely lost but they managed to hold it well done how is the camera looking camera is looking fine i think or maybe hold on maybe this is better well yeah yeah this is better for sure all right so which this okay i mean probably white's forcing the drop yeah Interesting material imbalance though. So white were pawn up, black had a scary pawn on h3, black sacked the knight on f4 for a pawn. And because of this h3 pawn, they managed. Okay, they were worse. But then they managed to create some play because of this h3 pawn. And they won one. Second pawn and they and then it was a draw. Okay, interesting game. Oi, 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 what a blunder! Black was certainly trying to play for a win, but they end up losing. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oops. Okay, this should be a draw, but I'm not. A Mm, stockfish bar goes down, so already plus 3.7, but how do we win it exactly? Okay, bishop e8, bishop g6, it is certainly tricky to win this, for sure. Rook e3 or something, no? Uh-huh, king g4 draw, now it's winning. It's certainly confusing how to win and how to hold. <laughs> yeah, I think you don't need to keep your king on the G file as white. Ah, now Zugzwang. King G1. Ay, that's just blunders. Wait, but... Uh, yeah, I, this position is complex, for sure. Which have said rookie five, but it's also complex to win, not only to hold. But at some point, there, there will be a position bishop here, bishop here, and then white will be in Zugu. And king moves mate, and otherwise bishop moves, they lose the bishop. Okay. Okay. Even on the chat, let's go. Back to black, black. Okay. <laughs> so somehow, Chesscom seems to like giving me black, huh? Last time I started with white, I ended up playing more black. Now I started with black, I ended up playing more black so far. <laughs> Three out of four. Okay, okay, Chesscom, I see what you got there. The camera is good, yes. Oh. These Gyuko piano players who just want to trade everything and draw. Should I play H3? Definitely. Because you wanna. You, you don't want to give me the G for square. He's thinking. He's a Gyuko piano player and he's thinking move 8. Interesting chat. Did I get him out of prep? Did I get him out of prep because I played something stupid? Oh no. And I just, I'm just postponed. I just want him to play H3. Come on, H3. Okay, D4. Should I take? I mean, I'm probably gonna go knight G6. And then D takes E. Okay, castle. Okay, whatever you you want. Don't want to play h3. I'll play bishop g4 next move. <laughs> I mean, I'm a man of my word, you know. If I sell, play something next move, I'll maybe play it or maybe not. But this time I am the man of my word. Let's play rook e8. The question is ah, okay, he doesn't want to trade on e5. Okay, I think I'll play like queen e7 at least and then get my rook back because on a7 it's not necessarily doing much, you know? It's just standing on a vacation, you know? Okay, c6 and then get the rook back. Maybe c6 was not the smartest. 
Okay, rook a8. I could have won upon with ed94, I think, but whatever. He had rook d4 there, whatever. Uh, yeah, I know what to say anymore. This, I mean, if I take it, takes with the rook, no? c5 then. Hmm, c5. Should I be greedy and go for that pawn or keep the stability? I think I'll keep the stability. And maybe now think about playing e takes d, but now I won't because he'll play knight d4, so I don't want that. He, he didn't waste time though, he played well uh, maneuvering his bishop, transferring his bishop all the way to g2 because it's doing pretty well here, protecting e4 and on d3 say or e2. It was pretty much useless. He wants to go knight c4. Go knight of eight because this is the knight on f on g6 isn't doing much, but I want to transfer it over to e6, maybe attacking the d for pawn. Okay, so moving his knight all the way to e3. I may need to play g6 to prevent knight of five. What if I take c5, d5, knight d4? Not sure. Dun 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 A. Eh? And I wanna go ninety four queen b six something. Because he has a light square bishop, so if he would get pawns on e4, d5, this bishop all of a sudden won't be great. And I can get like knight d7, knight d5, or knight d4 squares. Maybe b4, you know? So I'm not sure if this will be great. Okay, he goes for d5, but let's at least try and see what, what I'll get out of this. Queen b6, knight d3, this falls all out of a sudden. Uh, knight d2, okay, he wants to go knight c4 as it seems. Yeah, he also makes a nice maneuver. I probably... Ah, oh no, I couldn't play 97. Get knight d5. I don't know if this is good. Queen e6 cannot take us queen c4 and he cannot take with the knight because knight e2 and fork. He has to take an alien exchange. And I want to go knight e5. And just keep my good knight on d4 and his bad bishop on g2. Yeah, he prevents knight e5, unfortunately. What if I go f5, e5, blah blah blah? Mm. I mean, this plan may have been a flop, I'm not sure. Maybe it wasn't good. It certainly doesn't seem like it, at least now. Okay, I mean, he cannot take, I want to take and take d5. And he cannot take a5, because of the exact same reasons. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Still cannot take, I don't know, h5, I just gotta move. Not wait too much. Not think too much. Maybe b6. Something like this moving my queen. It can be an idea. But certainly this knight is doing well. Okay, he's sacking an exchange to get rid of that knight. b5. Yeah, and then a4 maybe. Yeah, sure. Just get rid of this to make his knight unstable. And if e5, I get knight g4 stuff. I'm gonna go queen b4, rook c8. Uh, sure, knight g4, that's a beautiful outpost right here. Uh, queen a7, or rook c8, I don't know. Okay, a second exchange, thank you. And a pawn, yeah, this is winning. Yeah, maybe I didn't place very well when I, when I allowed this f4 and stuff. But the knight on d4 definitely did a job. It annoyed him. 
he didn't really take it at the right time because it's b5 a4 and I just won. Okay, 87, but he wasn't really better. So that's a pretty good game, I'd say. Here, queen b6, I should have played queen d7. He cannot take because I get rook 8 and an open file. And if b3, I get something like b5. Oh, that actually looks very nice. This, this, this. Nay, nee, here I get this. I get rook 8. And here, b5 or what? And if queen e5, b4 is in his queen shot? Ah, no, he gets rook d4. But still, there is this b8. Yeah, yeah, sure. That, was, that looked very nice. But I'm pretty happy with the game, you know, stocks this 87 accuracy. Yeah, here I played a bit, a bit, a bit, I don't know, not not too well. But I made him impatient, he took on d4, a4, and a w. Good, 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 I'm certainly happy with the game, in high trend. The result, I mean, you know, it, it's better to, to, to maybe not play the game super well, but win at the end. Then play the game perfectly and then like lose some time or something. So I'm certainly happy with the with the outcome of the game. Let's open the break timer already. So whenever the break starts, I actually can go on a break and not waste time opening the break timer. You know. Dun 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 dun. Hey, Carol, should win this unless some knight of three king g three stalemate. Unlikely. Unlikely. Checkmate. Okay, okay, okay. But that was a nice try. If Knight of Streaky in a fun rook c2 still made. Nice try, but didn't work, unfortunately, for white. Let's watch the big Greek. It should be a draw. I'm saying it should be. Yeah, okay, rook before it is a draw. Nice hold from black. Pawn down. Well done. Okay, this should be a draw. Black can see... No. No, but this... No, you gotta play active, right? Yeah, I think so. You just gotta check the king. Because if you go passive, I think somehow white can do this, rook f8, and then trade the rooks. I'm still not sure if this is possible here. Because trade the rook, and if they get opposition, they're winning. But yeah, you just keep the rook to check the king if it's necessary, either from from side or from the, from the back side, from the left side or from the back side. You know, white strike, but it should be a draw. And somewhere still, wait, traps can be a good idea. Yeah, black is holding this very very well. Rook a one, then rook h one, then go rook a one, and draw. Okay, now you go rook a six. Or rook a5, rook a6, king h5, rook a5, g5, rook a6, g6, rook g6, draw. How is the game going? Hold on. g5, rook a6, g6, rook g6, kapow. You just get the rook on the g6 rank. And suck it. Rook a6, or rook h6, yeah. I certainly would have done rook a6, rook g6. Rook a6 just looked a little scary, but it certainly works. Uh, yes. Rook a6, king e5, rook g6, and then draw. Ah, uh, but actually, now white will try to play a pawn up. Not two pawns up, but a pawn up endgame. Black had a nice rook f7. This forcing draw. Okay, is, is this game still. It is. Let's watch this game. It should be a even bigger draw than. it should. The draw is more likely to appear here than even on the other game because opposite colored bishop. And we all know that it's a draw. But you never know what will happen, because their moves don't update for me, so I prefer this a bit more, since I at least can see what's going on. Okay, 50 move rule, and the other game is still going, but it is kin and kin. Alright, chat, break time, grab a snack or a drink, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Take care.
chat, I'm back. It's still a minute left. Wow. Usually I come back with like 20, 40, 20 to 40 seconds left. Now it's a minute. Crazy. 706 players. Okay, we actually hit 700. Wow. How many is Magnus points? How many does Magnus have? Unless I missed him, not four, not three and a half. Hey, where is he? I can see him on three either. Uh huh. I don't see Magnus on either. Ah, he's on three. Wow, okay. I'm not sure. I didn't see him also, Karma. <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> Okay, I think I didn't play colors yet in Tidal Tuesdays. No, I didn't. Wow. Okay, someone new finally. Take something like this. Should I? Uh, no, I cannot do that. I mean, I, I mean, I probably should. Yes, but I was thinking maybe I can play before him. He comes back. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Play B one. I'll go here and then this. Yeah, he finally played a four. <clears throat> Pick twenty one ideas. The rook c4, rook b4 actually can be interesting. Queen e1, g5, b3, g4. If I go rook c4, g5, rook b4, g4. This looks fishy, certain. Okay, I don't know if this is good or not. Hopefully it is. Plus b6, f6, c6, d6, go queen e4, c4 reigns, rook e3. Easy go f e3 or maybe queen e3 and then rook c4. If g5, I want to go rook b4, g4, a g, rook g4, rook b7, a queen a pawn. And as I say, I want to go like queen e1 or something. If we win in the a4 pawn, we'll see what he does though.
uh, Ruby 4, I suppose, because why not? Yeah, G5, I can try Queen H5. Probably what's better is Queen D1. Uh huh. B5 idea. Four B6. Fe. Okay, not sure about that. Yeah, and he goes for a four. Uh, EF rookie one. Ah, gets queen f7. Ah, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I get a five. Gets queen c7. Mm hmm. Not sure, maybe I'm missing something. Most likely I am, but if I'm not, hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> maybe rook c6 was better, I don't know. Honestly, not sure. I gotta move. I gotta keep him in time trouble, but I don't know what to move. I mean, where to move? Huh? Queen of two, queen c1 is better. in here or what? Yeah, unfortunate. Mm, I thought I had something, but yeah, king g5, and then mm, he had skin h6 in time. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, maybe queen c1 was just better. But I, did, I wasn't sure if I'm better after g5. It's only really, um, I know, what's. Wow. What accuracy did we play with? 98! Hey. I should be playing like 85! <laughs> it was 98! Okay. I thought I was winning. But okay, certainly it was, I mean, it was goofy. Rook C4 was actually in an accuracy, but it ended up working well. What's other rook bet? Uh, but I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? I actually lose if I take with the F rook. With the C rook. Ah, wait, I took, oh my goodness, yeah, of course. And this, okay, it doesn't matter because he checks and takes c6 anyways. And queen c1, yeah, okay, queen c1 is best. But then after g5, okay, I gotta take, 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 king h5, rook c5, rook e2. 
Aha, and then I'm two pawns up. Stockfish is a T sequel, but it's definitely worth playing on. But, like, usually I'm the one who trades pieces to try to win the endgame. What did I say? I'm usually the one who tries to trade pieces and try to win the endgame. But this time I decide to keep the piece on and, hmm, what's worse chances? And then he was drawn. Yeah, it was unfortunate because I thought like, oh my goodness, I'm winning, let's go. I thought, I thought he has to go king h5. So like queen d8, nay, here, 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 so king h5, eh, eh. But then I missed that he has king g5, king h6, king g5. Okay, whatever. Still, draw against almost 3100, pretty, pretty fine if I do say so myself. How is the camera? Camera is good. Draw. Danny was winning, okay. Okay, I'm happy that I was the one putting pressure, you know. I had more time. I had more time. That's first. Second, I was a pull up. If I want to, I could have gone to an endgame and tried to grind it out. But I didn't, unfortunately. But still, still a draw is fine, I think. Nevin would be finer, but this is fine. No, you had to try. If you went bishop e3, well, you at least like gotta try to get king g3, bishop e3, because then rook h2, rook e2, you win. At least try, get your king to g3, and then here. Ah, I hate this. Okay, repetition. Okay, okay. Emote only. Let's go. Do I get double white or do I get black again? I get double white! Hoo hoo, chat! Double white? Let's go. That's nice. I'm two bars, wow. But somehow, once I think I was on four bars, and I was lagging like crazy, but now I'm on two bars, and I'm laggy, but like not laggy, laggy, like I was, if you remember that stream, it was absolutely terrible. But the good thing is that the, is that the, how do you speak English, guys? Mm. I got in, it's like 20 degrees outside and not 37 so that my computer doesn't melt to pieces. That's that's probably why I'm not lagging as much as last time. When I was lagging. Because then my computer was like, like I don't know, sun is probably less, less hot than my computer when it's plus 37 degrees outside, you know. <laughs> it's terrible! You can burn your finger by just touching touching the fans. Well, not the fans, but like where the air goes out. I don't know how it's called. My English skills sound the best, but I hope you get the point. It was absolutely terrible. But now, fortunately, as it is 20 degrees, finally, it's like the dream weather after one almost and a half months of plus 30 plus, like 30, 35, we usually had at least 33 degrees and above for like one and a half months. So 20 weather is very, plus 20 degrees is like perfect weather, <laughs> you know. I know I'm speaking terribly. <laughs> Probably you didn't understand the single thing, but if you did understand, well done. If you did understand anything, well done. Can be three bishop e six winning a pawn, and if e f can be s hello, why can't I draw arrows? Mm 
I mean, likely he'll go queen c6. Because if queen d6, I'm fine with bishop h3. Thank you for the follow. I'm fine with bishop h3. And b7 hangs. Yes, this I'll go bishop h3, putting pressure on e6, anyways. Maybe I'm a bit impatient because e6 would be a forever weakness. Maybe I should play like knight e2 and slowly try to do something against the weakness. But I'm impatient. I mean, sometimes I'm patient, but this time I'm impatient. So, yeah, okay. Not a disaster, though, I hope. Gotta play faster. Maybe knight, maybe a knight maneuver action. I'm not sure. I mean, I could play knight e5, trade it the knights. But I mean, he has weak light squares. So, like, knight e4, knight g6 is a deadly threat. At least it can be. He doesn't defend properly. So, like, queen e8, I suppose. But then bishop e5, knight g6, or knight e6, you know? Because king h7, bishop of 5 bye bye. So he has to go queen e8, I suppose? I mean, he can play like rook, I don't know, rook e8. But then knight g6, bishop of 5 also looks pretty scary. At least I hope that it is looking scary. Yeah, he goes for this. Eh, uh, what's better move order? No, I think knight g6. Because so otherwise he may get g5. Now queen b6, I suppose. And queen b5, knight g5, knight f7, knight h6, knight f7. Okay, wait a sec. Check. In case the rook can h8, check. So we can g8. Double check, and then I want to go queen g3. Tapping the rook. Oh, it's accent exchange. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Do I maybe play king h1? I think maybe when taking is fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I get king h1. Rook g1. And just be careful, play rook g1. You cannot do anything now. Knight g4. He's in a scare. Scary threat. Okay, that was a good game. Let's go. I'm very happy with this game. The light squares actually ended up paying off. Ninety four, pretty good, pretty good. Queen B three was a mistake. He had rook C six. Okay, I missed that. Yeah, that was a nice move. I was better. Okay, Bishop F seven. Uh huh. Rook moves. I know eight. Uh, queen e6, okay, crazy. Was this actually that bad? Okay, that was a blunder. Yeah, but I I honestly thought, I mean, I, I of course understood that I'm not like winning after this, this, this. Queen g3, but I thought like, okay, I'm a pawn up. 
at least at least it's worth playing for a win. Hi there, main. Welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, but okay, I played rook f7, and then I played well. Rook d7, rook f7 takes... Because, I mean, king h1 certainly wins, but then queen e2. I mean, fun thing is that the only winning move is rook g1. <laughs> and I think that if it takes rook f6, mate, it's unstoppable. The bishop is, like, the shield for my king. And as I said, William, thank you for the follow. So, yeah, rook f2, but rook f2 was smoother. And then just rook g1, gg's. Hi, how are you doing? What's up? Thank you for your answer, follow all. Appreciate it. Okay, Sarush, so what's up? Ah. Yeah, pretty good. I have PPC scheme. Sure? <laughs> Go ahead. Kini 5? What was that? Was well, meant to be FG and Kini G and then Kini 5, I guess? Yeah, that's strange. Why? Why? Why not simply G? Maybe mouse slip, maybe pre blunder, maybe blunder. I don't know what happened there. But definitely, it sure is unfortunate for black. Draw. I mean, I wouldn't say so fast. I mean. Almost 11 years of pretty much everyday chess. I wouldn't say it's so fast, you know. <laughs> so fast I would become an IM or a GM by 10. I wouldn't say I improved so fast, but pretty much every day, every day studying is the way to go. Every single day, got to do at least something, or play a game and analyze it to see where. You, it's funny, all end games are rook end games. To understand where you blunder or something, to analyze it, or you go and solve puzzles and try to solve like ten correctly, something like this. What's the study plan? For me, I, I'm not. It's personal. It's a secret study plan. Sorry, but but no. Okay, all games end in draw. Not really my study plans. Okay, probably another GM. No, not the GM, but 2600. <laughs> okay, okay, let's not take it easy, of course. But I thought, I thought that 5 out of 6, I, I must get a GM, but okay, I guess not. You can watch my daily trainings to see my study plan on YouTube. Go ahead. Every single day since I was eight. So if you want to see what's my study plan, go ahead and watch every single video. Thank you in advance. <laughs> <laughs> it will help you improve and see what's my study plan. Because Every day when I was doing daily trainings, I was solving like six puzzles correctly He's on leeches on chesscom. Then I was playing until I win against an IRL opponent. I'm playing either like Komodo on chesscom or blindfolded stockfish on leeches until I win as well. Or a draw if it's like super, super hard level, like level seven of stockfish blindfolded. Because it's a fine result. It's played like 2600 and blindfolded. It's fine to hold the 2600, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, go ahead and check out my YouTube. The robot even sent the link, <laughs> three messages above. It's a perfect opportunity <laughs> to see my study plan. Robot 94. But I, I'm thinking maybe it's fine because g5. Yeah, okay, he takes. Uh, Hmm. 
don't know if it's good or not. Certainly looks scary. You're gonna hit C6, HG. Oh no. Hey, queen of 6 and knight C6. If AG, rook D8, queen H5, queen G7. I don't know. But yeah, rook D8. For sure. Rook D1, knight C6. Messy position. Um, quite messy. Yeah, if queen g5 I'll, I'll be pretty happy trading the queens, you know? <laughs> the, the tension will go away. will release the tension. But at the same time I'll be happy if he'll blunder something, I'll win a rook or something or mate him, you know? <laughs> I'm fine with both. Show about rook because he has rook g1. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a blunder that was. Well, that's certainly unfortunate. I completely forgot that the queen is got in d8. I feel mean, like queen g5. I thought rook g8 yesterday. Oof. Terrible blunder. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. Got too carried away. Whatever it happens. But definitely really unfortunate. <sighs> I was concerned about rook g1 and I completely forgot to calculate anything else. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not good. But I think I played well. Until this one move. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. But I think if I play queen g5 rook d that would have been more or less fine. At least equal, maybe slightly worse, but definitely not lost. Okay, it was actually slightly better. Yes, yes. Yeah, queen g5, it would have been fine. But you have to rook d1. Ah, that is nasty. And I get my knight to 16 and b4. He cannot do anything about this knight. This, 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 rook d4, f3, b4, this is a beast. And whenever he tries to, like, I don't know, go rook e8, rook b8, I mean, time for rook d1. Yes, I was think pretty much winning if I play queen g5. So after queen g5, he had to take rook d8, go bishop e4. And this, wait, not this. And this is better. But still. Okay, probably, if, yeah, this is a draw. So with correct play, it would have been a draw. But definitely it's better, it would have been better than to play rook d8, but when you move in one rook, you know. Uh, a, a rook in one move. Uh, but how did I play, how did I handle the opening? I think pretty fine. Knight f6, a5, knight e6, good, best. Mistake, a3 was better. a3, best, best. Inaccuracy. Okay, inaccuracy, but I didn't really give the advantage. Rook d8, best, best, best. Yeah, okay, queen d8 was just a terrible blunder. Okay, fine. Happens. Whew. But yeah, I, I definitely like the pawn on a3, <laughs> the knight on b4, but unfortunately I didn't manage to materialize on that. Okay. How many points is Magnus? Magnus is on six. If I could, if I would have won that game, maybe I could have gotten Magnus. Unfortunate. Okay, but still, 
Okay. Okay, this should be winning for black. Yeah, simply rook a4, rook a4, b4, or this and rook a8 winning. Is the bishop a mating? <sighs> okay, here, here black should be better, but it's tricky. Okay, now it's less tricky because you simply get the d4 pawn. Now it's really not tricky. Completely winning for black. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still in shock how I blundered rook d8, the rook on d8, like that. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Like such a well played game and uh, bam, such a big blunder. Really, really, really unfortunate. Oh, but colors after me, he lost. And now he's struggling to win. I mean, he won't win. He's struggling to draw. Okay. But chat, still four rounds left to go. So, let's try. Let's try to win them. I was so caught up in the lines. Move d8. Queen g7. I oh, know I was thinking rook g1. Queen g5, rook g5, king f8, rook b5, rook d4. I have a good knight. Rook f5, f8, rook d1, I'm winning. And if you go something, I go like, I bring my king over, blah, blah, blah. Rook d1, maybe somewhere, maybe rook d2, f5. And bam, I just blunder a rook. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, this should be winning for black. And Bishop seems to be getting this win. <sighs> Caller seems to be getting the draw. Yeah, he is. And Bishop is getting the win. Okay, let's watch Callers. Two. If the king would be on b3, that would be deadly. But as the king is on uh, a3, it is a draw. This draw, finally. Okay, chat, emote only, let's go. The camera is good. Should be white or maybe double black. Okay, black. Oh, and I played this guy last time. Okay, and he plays the Catalan, if I recall correctly. I recalled correctly. He plays his queen for line. At least he played in the last game. <laughs> yeah, this line certainly does exist. But not many people played that against me, so a bit, um, a bit unfamiliar. Is it? But okay, bishop d7 looks like an all right move at least. So you have bishop six, knight, knight d7 or something. A6 was an idea, but then after b5, some knight d5 could be unfortunate and un un unpleasant. He's thinking for a while. A Catalan main thinking on move eight for 40 seconds? Interesting. Does he actually know how to play the Catalan or did I play something that ridiculously stupid <laughs> that he isn't sure if he's winning here already or not? But either of those, <laughs> either of those can very well be truth. Okay. I'm fine giving away my bishop, honestly. Because now it's a dead bishop. <laughs> so I would actually love for him to take the bishop. And my idea is like queen v6, rook d8, blah blah blah. Or maybe queen c7, but then I can go. Uh, 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 I'm not sure. 
Queen c7 should d6. Ah, yeah, that looks okay. And then, like, rook d8. Uh huh. Yes, maybe even bishop e8. This he wants to go bishop f4. Fair enough. And bishop e8, bishop queen c8 is pretty passive, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, right? c5 can be an idea though, somewhere. Knight d5 can be interesting. c5. It's definitely a top priority. He may have knight a5 though. Okay, let's play knight d5 first. This, maybe knight b6. Bishop a5. I don't give him a pawn, you know. <laughs> I think there I give away a pawn. Huh? C5 immediately. I think it looks okay. Because I gotta, gotta, gotta activate my pieces somehow. Hmm. Is the bishop with a queen actually? Maybe it's a queen. So I'm just doing something, and then I want to play rook c8, because rook on a8 isn't doing anything at all, except protecting a7, which isn't even being attacked. So queen c5, rook c8, is my idea. Uh-huh, if I go queen b5... Okay, why not? Queen a6 idea, maybe. Especially for stuff. Is that a free pawn? Or is my queen getting trapped? I don't know. I don't know. But I at least don't see it being trapped in a move, so I guess I'll get that pawn. Queen h5? Or not? I think queen h5 is better than g4, but actually... I like g4 more. Just knight b7 get bishop a4. It's all about those tactics. Especially in blitz. It's tiny, tiny things. Bishop a4? Bishop a4? What am I missing? H3. Queen d1. It's unfortunate that he has this. <laughs> unfortunate. I, I thought I would win in exchange. Outright, but no. Gotta move. Let's try this at least. Mm, yeah. But hold on, rook b8. Wait a second. Ah, he has b3. Mm, I thought I'm smart winning a pawn, but no. Not winning a pawn. Oh, I'm winning an exchange! I'm winning a brook! Or at least a piece. He has to go bishop a four, but the ninety six will be eight. Okay, it was actually worth it. Let's go. He has to go bishop a four, but then it's a poor piece.
before Bishop F2. Just gonna consolidate a bit. Let's not land the back ring. <laughs> Just get H6 out. Let's go right here. I played a bit too slowly at the end and gave him chances. But a win is a win. I'm happy. I mean, maybe I didn't win the exchange tech. Haha. <laughs> what? Why am I watching some random game? I don't know. 91. Good. Yeah, I didn't. But then Bishop C one he had to go B3. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not using. Sounds like it, I'm not. Maybe. Should be a draw. Yeah. Because I honestly wasn't sure who's playing for a win. <laughs> This should be winning. I still white has to be careful. Can you just go like King B3, King B4, uh, King B3, King B4? Sack this pawn and promote this because the king cannot. Okay, this wins as well. But I feel like. Yeah, okay, King C, GG's. Why not King C6? <laughs> okay, King C5. Why can't you predict, huh? I was always predicting, but now it opens a variation. I don't know why that is. What is my doing? Just take! Go here. Uh, okay, don't blunder, Bishop. But like, go here, 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 here. And if it takes in the right corner and the black isn't in, in time to get the king over to a7. Okay, wait, wait, did it. Ah, that's unf that was such a nice feature! <laughs> Why did they do that? That was so fun predicting. You have nothing to do and then you predict. That's stupid of them, in my opinion. Like, it's such a fun feature when you're like, watching game, watching a game, you just you just do some random moves and instead of it opening analysis and then you not being able to follow the game, you could predict to see w if you're correct at predicting the moves or not. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan <laughs> of this update. Yeah, it was a nice feature, in my opinion. Very nice. Not the best. Not the best update. Oh, VT is playing. Okay, he drew. Hello, can you update the games, please? What games are still going on? Hello, hello? Oh, it's break time already. Okay, chat, it's break time. Get a grab. Uh, I'll grab water because I'm out of it. Grab a snack or a drink or anything and see you in a few minutes.
bad idea. I got the water. Let's go. I just like predict very obvious capture and go yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you see people like thirty no five out of thirty or like ten out of thirty but you only predict the captures. Wow the guy lost to us on seven out of eight. Wow. <laughs> so I mean he beat some GM? Wow, yeah he's doing well. But I definitely could have ended his streak of very good play <laughs> if I wouldn't blunder in a move. <sighs> okay. Around nine, Jeff Fixong. Okay, what? I know. Last, last round I was with Black. Okay. Hi, Carson Merich. How you doing? A bit late, but still three, three final rounds are left in the tournament. So you didn't miss it fully, just tiny bit. I don't know about this. I don't, I don't think I should spend that much time on a move. On a single move. Mm. <laughs> My 94 looks tempting, but. Oh. I don't know. Six rooks, one ninety four. Okay, nine G five. Should be five and five. Huh? Spent so much time already, wow. <laughs> Spent way too much time. Okay, I got a pawn, but I mean, my light square is a tiny bit weak. If some wind, if some so strong wind will blow, they may, I don't know, they may be a bit cold, but hopefully no strong, we won't have uh, thunderstorms so or like 30 kilometers per hour wind, you know. I don't know what else. Then like knight of c rook c one. I mean I'm a pawn up, you know. <laughs> well I have knight c four. Bishop h three, knight b six. Bishop h three, knight b six, rook c one, knight d five, rook d one. This is winning. I don't want to go like queen e four or something. Queen e four. Gotta move at least something. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Time is so oh my goodness. <laughs> Time management this game is terrible. And light squares <laughs> are also not the best. One and a half minutes versus 15 seconds, okay. <laughs> it's fine. I had queen a6, 96, bishop d6, but then he would do lie squares, would be fatal. Yeah, I simply left myself with too little time. Mm, the position was good. No time. It's terrible. I was such a good position, how did I mess it up so badly? Why did I think for so much? <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Hi, Sun Sun. Mm. I think I was like better. Okay, I was slightly better. I, I certainly thought I was better than Stopper says I was. Okay, rookie one was better. But I certainly thought here I'm like fine now. Huh? Okay, bishop before I'm actually lost here. I thought I'm actually fine. And I was until queen b6. But bishop d4 is a crazy move to find this too. Yeah, I left myself too little time. Uh, no, it was just, I thought like, well, okay, it should be equalizing with this, 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 this. But then I'm like, oh no, he has bishop h3 and I'm lost. Because the idea was, if if he continues taking, taking bishop h3, I'm, I'm surviving with queen c6. But yeah, he didn't. But the main mistake Stokfri says was, rook, I, was queen a4, I should have played rook e1, and it would have been totally fine. I have like knight b6, I have queen e4 ideas, say so he goes this, I have queen e4, and I'm actually better, because this hangs, he has to take, and I'm certainly not worse. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Was this this guy lost to before this? It's on seven and a half guys. 
<laughs> he's on seven and a half, he's eight currently. That's insane. <sighs> yeah, that was that was so good. I thought queen a4. I, I mean, I, I, if when I went queen a4, I thought, okay, queen e2, this, this certainly can be scary. His knight is hanging, but it ended up being scary, you know. <laughs> it ended up being very scary. Maybe at 92 or something, which was better. Uh, but okay, whatever. Still two rounds, guys. Still two rounds left. Instead of playing for a win, white is playing for losses, it seems. Uh, king f7, okay. Okay, I think I'll get a game with white and a game with black, unless I get double black. And the last two rounds, so still possible, there is, it is possible to get eight. Let's go, let's try that. Okay, now white, I feel like they will lose, yes they will, because it's already extremely, they just want to make one. It's already extremely difficult to hold this, mm, especially in time trouble. But okay, this game, let's try to not leave myself with two seconds versus a minute and a half. Let's try that. And yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, e4. Did I play? Nope, I didn't. This is my chance <laughs> to go all out. And try for a win, maybe even a quick win. Let's go. It's good to at least make my opponent sing. Nothing out of it. It's good to at least gain some time. Seeing bishop g4, queen b3, uh, queen d7, queen b7, rook b8, queen a6, castle rook b6. Should go knight g4. Maybe knight g4 is better. I have no idea. There is d4, e, d9, b3, sack in a pawn. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I just want to not think so much like last game. Okay, queen d7. Uh, knight h2, okay, okay. Rook g8 maybe. Uh huh. Hold on, does this win? Queen 8, king 7 the queen is trapped or no? <laughs> Imagine, that would be a funny queen trap. Trapping a queen with a king. That would be very nice, not gonna lie. But I'm not sure if it is a queen trap there. I'm sure the queen is trapped. I mean, ah, uh, no, this isn't great, is it? Nah, I don't think so. I think I know, like I said, I'm thinking it again. But it's a complicated position, <laughs> at least here. Okay, bishop h3. g4, maybe. Crazy. <laughs> Seven will be eight. I'm fine. I think I should be. <laughs> D four. K takes. Uh huh. 
this. A queen g4 maybe was actually good. Threatening mate. I'm not sure. Maybe I, I was planning queen g4 before d4 was played. But here, I don't know. It looked a little worse with my bishop being close. But maybe it was even better. I don't know. But I took rook, rook g4. It looks like I still have quite some pressure. So let's try to <laughs> try to profit off of that. E5. Okay, she also tries to open the position up. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of that. <laughs> Certainly would love to just just have the pressure all, the, all to myself. Okay. I could P7. I don't know, I didn't consider this at all. Mad position. Queen B, King E seven. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh no, Queen C six mating. Bishop of four, Queen C six works. I think maybe even Rook G four works. And I don't know. <laughs> it's totally crazy. Okay, this C six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear, did I blunder? I think I did. Again, a long time. Okay, this is strange. I drew h7, no! Okay, what's going on? Okay, hold on, chat. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, at least I didn't lose this. Because he was certainly heading towards that direction, I feel. But still, maybe I can try. Uh huh. I can certainly try. In time trouble, blunders happen often.
Kabel an, der mein Rook. I was winning at this rook h7. Ah. Yeah, I had rook h7 instead of rook c4. I probably was winning somewhere in the opening. Yeah, but it was crazy. Okay, 95 was a blunder. I was lost. But then here, rook h7. Bam. Resigns. I know, okay, there was bishop of one. Mm. Okay, chart. Final round. Let's go. Crazy game. Last round. But let's try to concentrate and let's win this round. Come on. At least I didn't lose, you know? <laughs> the game was that mad that it's, I was completely... I mean, I was, like, winning. I got her with this h3, h6 thing, you know? And g5 attack, but then I thought for a while, she didn't surprisingly, I thought she would spend more time because she's on the defensive, but she blitzed through the moves. I was the one with Lond, who was on 3 seconds, then I, man I was dead lost, then I missed a winning move, rook h7, but then I still was winning, then it wasn't crazy. <laughs> all in all, it's a mad game, but I managed at least get a draw. But definitely a better try instead of b4 would be rook b7, king c7, king c6, you know, to at least have a pawn. Because it just gave her a pawn, but like, rook b7, king c7, king c6. If I win the a pawn, I win the game. Because I have the passer, passer which is unstoppable, but okay, whatever. What happened, happened, can't change it, let's try to win this game. I think again. <laughs> I have fear of thinking now after the last two games. Because I certainly lost to Jeffrey and drew last game because of time trouble. But last game was mad! Okay, at least against Jeffrey I could have played much quicker. I thought for no reason. Some points. She thought there was a reason, but there actually was no reason. But last game, okay, I at least can I can argue that it was complete madness with the attack that she started attacking. At least there I could I could argue. Hi, Bexby, long time to see. How are you doing? Pawn e5 is not good, and he gets knight f4 radius.
Ой, ой, ой. Сис. Ты че слюс. Никсчинч. Ничего я в кине чуть-чуть, блядь, что я имею. One seems a bit more safe, hopefully. I mean, if this, this, he takes an, oops, he takes an exchange. I have 95 queen h7. Oh my gosh. Maybe h2 was safer. <laughs> Because now g2 is with check. Yeah. Should we take with the rook or with the bishop? Perhaps with the bishop. <laughs> so this knight will... I mean, it still will be a bit scary, but it will be definitely less scary than with the threats of 92. Okay, let's let's go, chat. I gotta lock in and swindle this game out. I should have played king h2. King h1 was a mistake, but let's go. Swindle. I think I should keep the rook. Not certain though. Oh, I spilled water. Okay. At least it's just on the table. Okay, hold on. Let's lock in <laughs> the extra for that. <laughs> Luckily, not on the computer. It's fine. I'll fix it after the stream chat. Lock in for spilling water. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. For another fall. Okay, Ruxy one, gotta, gotta go. Just move. Yeah, well played. Hmm. 
Oh, he doesn't even fall for his tell me trap. No. Mm, that was such a good tournament, but I messed it up so badly in the end. Half out of three. Terrible ending. Oh my goodness. Six out of eight and a half out of three. Ah, unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. I had a chance. Oh, bishop e2. Mm. Okay. Bishop e2 is nice indeed. This is easy for you to up to Bexby. And if bishop f4, I take and the knight... Yeah, okay, but bishop e2 is... When the knight is threatening some check, bishop e2 is a crazy move to find. But yeah, I had a chance. And then I didn't. I mean, it's stop reset, it was equal. But how do you hold it? Bishop a4. Haha. -ha. Okay, this is a draw. That somehow I'm getting this pawn? How? A4 bishop. Okay, this is crazy. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah that was bad. That was very bad. <laughs> Such a nice tournament. Drew, Drew, yeah, Drew a GM. I want to last last game more, though. Because uh, I think I was winning there. I mean, I, said, I certainly was at one point. Mm. Thank you for this unbeast right time, I appreciate it. Yeah, okay, b for here. I thought b for king b5, but then I get through d5, I guess. Yeah. Here. No, okay, b3. Yeah, b3 maybe was slightly better, but I got the pawn anyways. Here. Here, king c7. I mean, just, just try keeping a pawn at least. Show it's a draw, but at least I try. I mean, who goes bishop b8, bishop d8, bishop e8, and then a4, bishop b5, and then bishop b6. It's so counterintuitive. Okay, 100 somethings. Not the best performance. Definitely. Definitely last time was better. Definitely. Firuja first, blue bomb second, and Anish third. Uh, yeah. Very Magnus. Magnus is not on seven and a half? Did they get the same amount of points as Magnus? Wait, 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 it didn't load. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is Magnus? Okay, I'm 111. So, I mean, it's not bad. Rasmus got six and a half as well. So, oh gosh. Yeah, I, I, I definitely, I should hurry up. Now my, 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 my desk is getting a mess, sorry guys, I cannot continue streaming because it's spilled water now. I can't even click on clipboard without getting my shirt wet, so sorry about that. I'll quickly wrap up the stream and, and, and uh, go grab uh, napkins to clean it. Yeah, I don't see Magnus, or I miss him at the top, or he left the tournament, I don't know. But yeah, unfortunate ending, six, any, uh, six out of eight against uh, Jeffrey Xon, yeah, I was fine. I played Queen E4 without uh, fearing and then... And then spent too much at two seconds. Last game, tenth round, I mean, it was pretty fine, I suppose. I could have won somewhere, but it was difficult. Again, it was a mess. And, uh, and the eleventh round, I just got destroyed. Hi, Jertak. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. It's still hype train, but yeah, well, I'll say bye to everybody. I think the hype train will end. Uh, yes, but certainly, oops, not here. Certainly. She blundered. I don't know what was queen h6. Maybe it was a mouse sleep. Yeah, but simply go rook h6. No, not rook h6. Oh, rook h7 here, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. This king of one is a mistake. Rook h7, this completely winning. No, not now. Yeah, whatever. It was fine. It was fine. I'm happy. More or less with the tournament. Last three rounds weren't great, but. Before that, I played 6 out of 8, drew against Collars, who is 3080, pretty fine. Drew another game, and then all others were a win. Pretty good, but then the end wasn't great. Alright, guys, so thank you so, so much for the support. 
Thanks for the misgift to forgive me tier 1 sub to Bixby to front, then Pookie gigantify an emote in an uh, on screen celebration. Then, 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 we got a hype train with 8 gifted subs and 203 bits. Oh, also, Crash Emery reached 1000 bits. I don't know why the bits don't show, but thank you so much for the support. Then, Lorgan, 5 gifted subs, Pookie 200 bits, Karma 3 bits. Then, Lorgan, 5 gifted subs, yes, Lorgan. Uh, 26 months at tier 1, Karma 75 at tier 3, and Panda 57 months at tier 3. Appreciate the support, everybody. Take care. Bye, Crash Dummy. Bye, Karma. Bye, Totally Journal. Bye, Bexby. Bye, Pookie. Bye, Jertak. Bye, Crash Dummy. Bye, bye. Sun Sun. Bye, Totally Journal. Bye, Fando. Bye, Tubalechik. Bye, Soroush. Bye, Lorgan. Bye, Ben. Bye. Bye, bye. Johnny. Bye, Chum. Bye, Vampire Rage. Bye, Pure Chess Lover. And everybody who was here, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for the hype trains and for the support. And most importantly, for watching the stream. Hope you had fun. And I hope to see you all in the next tournaments, in the next streams. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.